20 years of ministry in the same location, a record for most pastors, you know. I'm often reminded of the privilege I had of serving with you at Centerville Press a number of years ago. And although brief, the impact of the ministry you had in my life was profound. You provided a place of safety and healing at just the right time. May God richly bless you in this next season of life. And it has been a fantastic thing to get to know you, Greg. Congratulations on the celebration that you're having for, for your many years of ministry. Uh, I see your passion, your vision, your creativity. It, it is such a, a wonderful thing. So thank you for all you do. And I love them because they, that summer, let me stay in their awesome house and borrow their awesome car. And they did not even get mad when I ran their awesome car into their not so awesome trash can. Through the hard times from the coup on and even in the fun times and through the stressful times toward the end, you've been such an encouragement and we appreciate it. Thank you, Greg and Marcia, for your love and support over the years. And thank you so much for all the boxes of C's candy. <laughs> Greetings and congratulations on your 20th anniversary at Centerville. I thank God for you. I've known you um, probably that whole 20 years since you first came into the Presbytery. And I'm just delighted that you've reached this milestone. I want to thank you for your prayer support and your leadership in San Francisco Presbytery through those years. You're just a marvelous gift to all of us. Congratulations. Church has changed some, but we have changed. And the, the gospel that is, is presented at Centerville is the, is the same gospel that it was when we joined in 1953. I'm particularly uh, impressed and appreciate their service to the marginalized in our community, to homeless people who. Uh, find hospitality and friendship in their through their ministry and uh, through the space offered at uh, Centerville Presbyterian. Thank you, and hopefully we'll be able to work uh, many more years together. Hey, we miss you guys, but we're so glad when you come to visit. And happy trails to you from the river. Keep the faith. Amen. Greg has been an adventurer all his life. <clears throat> and he has impacted many, many lives through his dedication, his servant attitude, and his thinking outside the box and being courageous uh, wherever God leads him. I'm also thrilled for Marsha's impact on my life and in other people's lives as I've watched her over the years develop her gifts to serve the Lord and to her local congregation. So I want to extend my deepest and greatest congratulations for 20 years of celebration. Uh, we are so glad to be part of uh, your ministry and to celebrate you on this day. On behalf of our church family to you and from me to you, uh, I just honor you for your tremendous commitment to Jesus, uh, to the gospel, uh, to being kingdom advancers right here in the valley in which you serve and around the globe. Uh, we honor you this day and celebrate you with your church family. Uh, God bless you both. Donna was on the pastor nominating committee that brought Greg and Marsha to Centerville. I guess the committee did a pretty good job because they're still here for 20 years. <laughs> Greg and Marsha, you know what's important to God and with Christ's confidence, you take the actions necessary to stand on the truth of his word we admire you greatly for encouraging others to do likewise. Are you sure you don't want to run for U.S. President and Vice President? And we just want to say God bless you in this special day. It's an exciting time. It's been a time where we've had plenty of highs and plenty of lows. And we've seen God's faithfulness throughout all those years. And you guys, you two in particular, and as well as the rest of the body, have been part of our journey, part of our missionary journey over the last 32 years that we've been in missions as a family. So God bless you on this special day and uh, we just say we love you guys and, and uh, wish you all the best in this year to come. Another, another 20 years to come. Congratulations on 20 years of ministry there at Centerville Presbyterian. I can hardly believe it, but it's a privilege for me to say that I spent about 
eight years of that time with you. And those were great times. I got such good memories of our times together. Uh, th this might seem kind of strange, but uh, most people probably have pictures of their kids on the wall, but I'm, I've got you guys. That way I can see your faces every day, be reminded of you. You've been such good uh, mentors and colleagues, as well as good friends to me, and I'm so thankful to God for you. As you know, pastoral ministry can be hard, and sometimes I find myself saying, what would Greg do? Hmm. Anyway. There are a lot of us out there who have been touched by you. Just want you to know that you have influenced a lot of lives. There are a lot of us who love you, care about you, a lot of us who pray for you, a lot of us who keep you in our thoughts constantly. And for many of us, we continue to hope that someday we can be like you. God bless you both. Congratulations on enduring 20 years of leadership and leading through 20 years of all the changes that have prepared you for what lies ahead. Congratulations and I can't wait for what comes next. You guys are the model of humility and service to the Lord. I just want to thank you for the six and a half years that I got to work with you. Thank the Lord for that. Greg, you always taught me how to lead with grace and how to be grace-filled. And Marsha, you always taught me how to uh, live in the Spirit and, and go to God with things in prayer. And uh, you two are forever um, inspirational in my life and in my ministry. And I just want to thank you for that. So may God bless you as you guys continue to minister, as you continue to be called and continue to be obedient um, to where God leads you. Uh, you guys are fantastic people. I wish you all the best. I miss you. Bye. And what a blessing it has been. And especially now with our wonderful Greg and Marcia, who are mission-minded too. And that is why we are well known here in Fremont, because we're mission-minded, both to be mission-minded and missions abroad. And thank God for Greg and Marcia.